Why was it important for you to come here today, to be here, your first time here? Why did you want to come here? Well, I knew the theater had been newly renovated. Yeah. And, and I, I'd never connected with this part of my life. Mm -hmm. Never? Never? Uh, no, Not no, really. I mean, no. Like, I used to come to South Carolina every summer, but I didn't even come see this building. I didn't even know the building existed. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't go, I, maybe I went to the church mm -hmm. when I was little. But I think it's just important to me now because I have kids myself now. And, you know, I'm going through a lot of changes professionally. No. You know, so <laughs> I just kind of want to get, like, a context of, like, and also because it inspires me a sense of thinking about what might be possible. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? So much, you, you, mean? you know, outside of, like, show business, like, man, I could build something. You know, I could help. I don't know. I could do something. I don't know what I, I don't know what I could do, but mm -hmm. with great power comes great responsibility. Mm -hmm. And so, if you would, please join me in welcoming Dave Chappelle home again. Oh, thank you. You know. Um, I, I speak for a living, and, and I'm, a, I, I'm a little nervous today. I, I wanted to say thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, Bishop Green, and, and thank everyone at Allen University for hosting me today, because it, it feels special, right? When I, when I think of this great-grandfather that I've heard about in my life, but never, never actually touched his legacy. So it's like the product of his loins coming to meet the product of his work. And, and it's, a, it's an important day for me personally. And I know a lot of you guys are students. Uh, and I just want to tell you, I'm the first person in my family to not go to college. Uh, and as uh, the president has told you, I've done outstanding in spite of that. But one thing I did want to say, and one thing today just made me think about, for all the things that I've done, I'm most renowned for what I didn't do. I, I've made decisions in my career that a lot of people have called insane. 2004, I had a $50 million deal on the table, and in a crisis of conscience, flipped the table over and walked away, went to South Africa. Everyone said I was running away from the money. That is not true. In fact, I still want that money. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that I wanted to just share with you guys is the idea that sometimes you, you do what you think is best, uh, whether anybody understands it or not. I heard a story about my father where someone told me he used to do statistics for a company in D.C. The company he did statistics for started doing business with the South African government, so he quit his job. This caused a lot of problems between his, him and his wife. It's hard for a man when he can't provide for his family the way he wants to, and he suffered through it. And a generation later, when I had my crisis of conscience, I was able to go to a free South Africa and get away from the heat. This idea that what you do in your lifetime informs the generations that comes after you is something I keep thinking about, something that is so much bigger than just ourselves. And today I'm standing in front of you guys, and I know you guys are like, oh, I know you're bored. But I see family of mine in the front row that, that I, someone who I've never met, and I just realize how, how all, all of us are, are connected, that my great-grandfather built something more substantial than buildings. He, he built a community, and he built, more importantly than a community, he, he, he built a way, you know? So I'm very grateful, uh, very grateful. Hello, police. Um, <laughs> I just saw him saying, you know what I mean? He's standing over like, so this is what black people talk about. 
I just want I just want I just want you guys to remember, you know, that right now there's this thing where where ethics aren't what they used to be. This idea that people are trying to replace the ideas of good and bad with better or worse. And that is incorrect. You gotta keep your ethics intact because uh, good and bad is a compass that helps you find the way. And a person that only does what's better or worse is the easiest type of person to control. They are a mouse in a maze that just finds the cheese. But the one who knows about good and bad will realize that he's in a maze. So, that being said, I just hope that all of you guys transcend whatever you see as your obstacles and that you live outstanding lives and that you stay connected to your communities because you have so much power there and that you grow your communities and you diversify your communities and that you don't let anybody, anybody, tell you you can't or to be afraid. It's okay to be afraid because you can't be brave or courageous without fear. The idea of being courageous is that even though you're scared, you just do the right thing anyway. So in 2004, I walked away from $50 million and in November, I made a deal for $60 million. So, <laughs> although I am not the most famous comedian of my time, I would like to know what their great-grandfathers did. I'm, I'm very proud today. Thank you very much. <laughs>